Joining me now is Chris Miller, Associate Professor of International History at Tufts Fletcher School of Global Affairs. Chris is the author of numerous books, including Chip War, The Fight for the World's Most Critical Technology, which is a massive issue. It's actually a bigger contributor to inflation today than oil prices are. And I'm going to get to that book in just a second. But first, Chris, you're an energy expert, and I want to get your take on this OPEC plus cut and what you think is behind it and what should be done about it. Well, it's certainly the case that the Saudis are trying to signal uh, a desire to have higher oil prices and displeasure with the uh, new regulations that are coming into force that will impose a price cap on Russian oil. And the Saudis realize that if the U.S. and Europe are able to set a price cap for Russian oil, they could also quite plausibly do it in the future for any other oil producer. And that's why the Saudis want to uh, signal their market power, drive up prices, and flag for the Biden administration that they're a key player in any discussion about international oil price setting. Uh, the challenge for the Biden administration is that they're trying to keep oil prices down to starve Russia of revenue in addition to keep a cap on gas prices. And so intensifying tensions with the Saudis, at least in the short term, might have the opposite effect of driving prices even higher. Uh, Chris, I want to ask you about your new book, Chip Wars, in which you say, quote, um, semiconductors are the new oil. Uh, it, it, it'd be hard for my viewers this morning to sit there and think that to be true. But if you look at inflation over the last uh, two and a half years, particularly in the last year, semiconductors have more to do with it than, than oil does. The, the reason you can't buy a used car uh, without paying up for it is because of semiconductors. The reason you can't buy a new car uh, is because of semiconductors. The reason phones and computers are more expensive is because of semiconductors. So talk to me about this chip thing, why we have so much trouble with it in the United States, why we are not a leading manufacturer of uh, microchips in the United States, and what this administration is doing about it. Well, that's absolutely right. Chips have been a key driver of inflation. And like oil, chip production is concentrated, but even more so. Saudi Arabia produces around 10 or 15 percent of the world's oil supply. Taiwan produces 90 percent of the most advanced processor chips. So there are uh, critical choke points in the process of producing semiconductors. And some of those choke points are just offshore of China in some of the world's most intense geopolitical hotspots. So there's extraordinary risk that hangs over the semiconductor supply chain that could imperil our access uh, to everything we rely on, from smartphones to PCs to microwaves and dishwashers. So it's a real risk for the global economy. Uh, and as we see U.S.-China tensions intensify, there's uh, not a small chance that it could impact semiconductor production further and thereby imperil the entire world economy. Sounds when you, when you talk about things that need to be manufactured, doesn't sound like a difficult thing, especially for America, which is a, a major manufacturing country. What's complicated about making micro, uh, semiconductors? Well, an advanced chip like the one that you'd find in a new iPhone will have 10 billion components on it, and each one of those components is smaller than a coronavirus. So this is the most complicated manufacturing process in history, and there's been a, a, a race or a war between a small number of companies. That's why I titled the book Chip War, to describe this battle to produce smaller and smaller components and cram more computing power onto chips. And right now, the company that is better than any at manufacturing precise ships is based in Taiwan, the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, which most people have never heard of, but you rely on their products and everything from your, smoke, your smartphone to your PC uh, to the data centers that you access when you use the internet. We simply couldn't rely uh, uh, without them. We depend on them for almost everything we consume. Chris, good to see you. What an interesting book that you've written. Thank you for being with us, particularly useful because we actually had booked you to talk about just the book, but then this OPEC plus uh, uh, oil cut happened. So great to get your expertise on both of these things. Chris Miller is an associate professor of international history at the Fletcher School at Tufts University. He's the author. And I got to tell you, I always say that we have important books on this show, which we do, but this one really is going to matter to you to understand. Chip War, the fight for the world's most critical technology. If you're worried about inflation, understand microprocessors and why uh, and semiconductors and why we're having such trouble with them.